Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. This is episode 16. Last episode we made it through the Underdark and basically discovered everything there was to discover here. Now it's time to go on a boat to our next destination. There's a lot to do over there. So the main thing is we're going to go save the Grimforge gnomes. Get whoever near is, get his head. Near the Mantine Forge should be over there also. And we might discover some more stuff about Shadow Hearts stuff. I did forget to talk to Lazao in last episode to ask her about this plate that we found. But we'll do that in a, a bit later. We're going to get on the road right now. <laughs> a vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. On the road. The road is water. Let's sail into the darkness. Honestly, the upcoming scenes are probably some of my favourite. I enjoyed this next zone a heck of a lot the first time I went through it. it gave me two days of full content. It was good. Elf, what are you doing on Gex Raft? Ah, you know, rafting. Where's Gek? Who are you? I don't have any inspiration. <laughs> so. <laughs> Might turn into a fight. I'm afraid Gek is dead. He found fighting the mic in it. Is what it is. What a load of Rotho shit. No way a mushroom killed Gek. Get her, fellas. I like this fight anyway. It's a boat battle. <laughs> Standing right beside me, but we do have most of our turns first, so we might be able to deal with him. I don't really want to push him in the water because he does have some good gear on him. Karlak will come and save me, won't you, Karlak? Once again, I did forget to uh, buff Ready up and everything before starting the episode, so... <laughs> Fighting on a bit of the back foot, but, but we'll be alright. Hey, well, you might just throw a fireball at them, honestly. That'd be pretty good, just throwing a fireball. Firing all the arrows. Alright, Shadowheart, if you can come and finish this guy off so he can't get in the tank, that would be awesome. One more swing. Very good. No attacks for that guy. He's probably the scariest one. <laughs> I mean, we are getting destroyed a little bit, but the classic problem of not wanting to like push your loot into the ocean happens during this fight, though. Because I could push them in the ocean, but they might have loot. <laughs> Show them how much of a gentleman you are, though. Got a good reverberation off on that guy. It's too bad he didn't die. I 
Really trying. Really do be trying. Jump over. Put up spirit guardians. And at least gets rid of one. Surprised they didn't try to like shoot Shadow Heart. <laughs> Karlak, don't worry about me. You just get over there and kill them. Kill them all. Critical miss. Don't like that. Okay, well, you can worry about me. <laughs> that was... Interesting movement there, I must say. <laughs> This fight's pretty cool though, just because it's a boat battle, and everyone loves boat battles, right? Let's go. Cry about it. Oh, let's go. Very nice. Still a short rest. Keep going a little longer now. Jorgarul's great sword, which has a tank that just strikes in a straight line. Pretty good. Push him in, in the water is actually the worst thing you do because then you lose all the loot. <laughs> as tempting as it is, and I have tried it before, I failed the cheek though. Give us another war hammer. I think I will give this to Shadowheart. It's the same damage, but she gets the the onslaught attack, which is going to be amazing. Towards the Grim Forge. It's ready to sail. After that little bit of drama. Kind like having a seat. Imposing structure. Whitman are ready, lass. Company's calling. What do we got here? Dead hoon walking, seems like. Got any reason I shouldn't sever your head and toss it to the Rothe? Let's not get into another scrape, shall we? Still catching my breath after the last one. We'll try, Gail. I am a true soul, and you will treat me with respect. That's so. I... You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. I'll be... You ain't shitting. Felt the tingle. In that case, let's talk business. Your twat's old friend near caused a rockfall. Trapped tighter than a hornet's arse. Couple of known slaves stuck with him, too. Little bastards. You absolute shaggers owe us a crap load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. You say you keep slaves here? Deep gnomes, mostly. <laughs> Easy to feed. Fat thumbs for digging. That a problem for you? No, not a problem. You do Good. what you do. Now cough up the coin. I got shit to do. I'll give you a hundred dollars. I'll be shagged to Shanatar. Shit's looking up. But I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. Seems we'll have to free Nir before we can collect the bounty on his head. There's the matter of the gnomes, too. It wouldn't do to stand by and keep them enslaved. Yeah, we'll do what we do. 
We'll get that hundred dollars back later. <laughs> For now. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. You know, we won't cause too much drama for now. What's a fort like this doing in the Underdark? Fascinating architecture. It doesn't match the style of any Underdark civilization that I know of. Hmm. Figure it out. Into her shadow. Let all that is past be forgotten. Interesting. How peculiar. Smooth face. Cobbled edges. They're a sign. They must be. A sun dweller in these parts. Look here, my topside friend. I need fresh eyes, and I doubt I'll find fresher. What is it you're looking at? The rock, the rubble, all of it, if I may be so bold. Take a look. Tell me what you see, and be thorough. I will try to be thorough. See if we can get some history. Usually I end up getting two of three. Let's see if we can get three of three today. The statue's meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered masonry behind it. Two styles, two eras. The statue was carved from newer stone and erected by latecomers to this ancient fortress. <laughs> Several glassy stones stand out in the debris. Their borders are coated with tiny yellow crystals. The hottest of flames smoothed the stone and left sulfuric crystals behind. The fires of the hells have touched Grimforge. Boulders and stone bricks of various sizes clutter the corridor, many split cleanly in two. Yet some walls remain fully intact. No quake brought these rocks down. They were smashed through in an instant. Something big charged through here. Something very big. Hmm. What do you think? There's a scary monster here somewhere. Incredible. An entire history risen from dirt and debris. Picture it. An ancient city, hewn from the stone by disciples of Shah, later abandoned. Untold centuries later, a new tribe revives it. Fresh walls, fresh sculptures, until a great hell beast charges through, toppling the walls and crushing the people. Oh, that explains the infernal plate I found. Perhaps you might have use of it. Thanks. But my work has only begun. There is more still to find. I must get to it. Pleasure to meet a fellow academic. What a subject. This place brims with history. Indeed. The most interesting secrets are always lurking just under the surface. Ah, oh, come on. Pity their vision didn't stand the test of time. All's not lost. I mean, just look at this place. You've quite the knack for finding the bright side of things, haven't you? <laughs> Hope keeps you going. Tired. Tired. Sleep. Rest, little one, but do not take long. I feel his shadow. I heard his name whispered. The rock shivers from the sound. The Ketheric Thorm. Ketheric Thorm, a familiar name. Halsin mentioned his stronghold deep underground. Hmm. Do you mean Kifferic form the Dark Justicia commander? Mm. Mighty elf, cloaked in darkness, ten masters ago, and ten more. But I remember there was the work and the blood. There was the Thorm's army. There was the hell beast that broke them. The Ketheric Thorm's name faded into stone until the near came. What kind of hell beast could des have destroyed Ketheric's army? I saw tusks and flesh, smelled fire, 
and eggs. It came with the Mask Men, crashing and smashing. That was a long time ago. What does Nier have to do with Kifarik? I know not, so I say not. Yet I hear his name again, said by the shadows. You have an impressive memory. How old are you exactly? I outlived my mother and her mother's mother and many mothers beyond. Blessed to see many live, cursed to see many die. Thank you, old beast. Spirit Amulet. As you look at the skeletons, you realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. Dark Justicia uniforms. These were Shah worshippers. The same as me. Ominous. Let's not linger. Let's not. But a word of warning. Down here in the Underdark, few dangers ever truly die. What we got going on over here? You, grab a cane and whip these Drugnin beasts into shape. That rubble needs clearing. And my patience is hanging on by an ass whisker. Gross. Show the animals some respect. Then you may get results. Think if you respect a turd, it'll smell any sweeter. Waste of bloody time. Something spooks the dumb shits. So stop your join and get to work in. What's behind the rubble? You got no need to know and I got no need to tell. So get to caning or to leaving. A slight glint catches your eye. Focus. Wasn't going to beat that anyway. The glint fades before your eye finds its source. How about you tell me? What's back there? Want my help? Uh, fine. Look at this. Adamantine. Stuff's no joke. Stronger than steel, rarer than mithril. It ain't mined. It's made. There's an adamantine forge back there, sure as shitting. Don't get any smart ideas. That forge is clan property. But get the beasts moving and I'll toss some coin your way. I'll see what I can do. Go on then. Light a fire under the buggers. Stay now, of course, we're not going to beat the no beasts. More. No more pain. No more work. All must die. Give in to your rage and avenge your pain. Don't strike us all, though. Just your mask. Thank God, guidance roll the four. <laughs> yes, they made the pain. Now they feel it. Bloody rope, they have lost it. Put them down, and the shark too. That was uh, it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> The four on the guidance. Mm, Red ambush and miss. Terrible. It'd probably be worth it. Yeah, if it works, but sadly, work did not. <laughs> Break their bones. Scratch, by the ass. <laughs> Let me recite their demise. Not quite. We probably want to save some spells. Gale. So we'll try to just fireball. Bit of fighting we have to do. I was gonna say, if she hits that animal. <laughs> Be mad. Nice. Ooh. Damn, Gale, that's insane. This one's definitely more of a freak.
Maybe I should have got that two extra dexterity when I level. <laughs> it's all good. Alright, Shadow Hunt, take it in. Slowly. 4 HP, we can kill him. Tactical. Kalek's doing pretty crazy damage now. That's where it's scratch. Still breathing, despite everything. Dwegar can't hurt anymore. We'll wait until it's safe to leave. Can you smash through the rubble before you go? You helped me. I help you. Thank you. Moving ahead. See, they work for us because we're not mean to them. <laughs> Yeah, now that we have opened up that area, we will not go there just yet. <laughs> Let's head down and go towards the deep gnomes and near, see what's up there. See what's going on. Saluna did call forth the moon and the stars. Shah cloaked them in shadow to cover our scars. Friends still ain't caught hmm. a whiff of them. Slaves are paid. Seen her run with a barrel under her arm. Just a small one, but enough to blow the drow out. Someone should grab it. Slaves are never going to manage with pickaxes. Can't go chasing maybes. The sergeants are ticket in. Oh, would you look at that, Kerr? Someone's having a listen. A shiver runs through you. Your mind is awash with ancient resentments. True soul, no less. What do you think, Kerr? Should we take Nia's debt off her? Don't be absurd. I hate these true so cultists. Yet you got that twat soul stench. If I didn't know better, I'd say a mind flayer shat a worm in your brain. Should split your head open and poke around in there if you lot don't pay up. Very eloquent. <laughs> I want near out and you have a lead. I ain't parleying with more twat souls. Just want my coin. Your blade ready, Kerr. Drop it, Brithvar. You chop this one, and Nia won't pay a damn copper. Fine. Spill what you want, true soul, before I choke on your stench. I'm no more a true soul than you are. The shiver returns. This time it's colder, sharper. The stench don't lie. You're one of them. I was a true soul. That cult lied to me. Now I want revenge. And we are really rolling good after the last episode. <laughs> the slightest of breezes slips through your skull. Ain't fooling me. Only you absolutely could get my mind wobbling. Crack. Get you gone before I get you gone. Look at this place. Keep digging! Back on your feet or I'll bite your toes off one Bugger off! You're distracting the slaves! They run, you're dead. Faster! Heat up some rocks! Let's see how the little pricks do when we strap fire to their legs. Charming. Hell is truly where we make it. Move, Hoon! I don't have time for Drugnan outsiders. I was told to report to you. Get Cole is dead. Dead? Drugnan Gek. Figured I could count on him. Lesson damn well learned. Now move. I've got no time for- The parasite stirs, but it's a mere tickle. You hear no thoughts or memories. Just an echo of scars that never healed. A true soul, eh? Useless wreck of a lookout could have told me. Glad you're here to take responsibility. Tunnels collapsed. Trapped true soul near. He's stuck in there with poisoned geezers. We don't get him out soon. It's both our heads. How did he get trapped? Place is older than bone dust. Previous tenants left a trap. Dropped a shit ton of metal once we dug a ways in. Get near out and you'll have the absolute's blessing. No doubting that. What are you hoping to find at this dig? Entrance to an ancient temple. General's orders, Nier said. Must contain something important. He got me to recruit non-believers. 
but not everyone's seeing the absolute's truth. They don't get paid soon. I'll have a riot on my hands. Any ideas on how to clear the rubble? Not a one. Unless you count tacking abolith fangs to my whipping cane. I'll take care of it. Thought you would. True souls don't abandon their own. As you near the rubble, a fragmented voice clutches at your mind. A true soul. True soul. Finally, you must clear rubble and filling poison. Is anyone else in there? Gnome slaves. Passage trap. Careful of mercs. Get me out. View through Nir's eyes is a blur. You only make out a bit of rubble and few moving figures. I was fully expecting another critical failure. <laughs> the blur resolves into an image. Two gnomes feverishly removing debris. While two others lie dead at Nir's feet. Their flesh scorched by powerful magic. You sense Nier's frustration, tinged with rage, as the connection fades. Gnomes speak in soft whispers, the words all but lost in the hot air. Have a little eavesdrop. Hopefully. Good. I'll never get through. We need that smoke powder. Philomene's gone, and if she's smart, she won't be coming back. Tell the sergeant where she went. Beltron's still trapped with that maniac near. Forget the smoke powder. They'd kill Phil on the spot. I won't let you do it. I'm a friend. Bola sent me. Glittering gods. She actually survived. Praise Iron Hand. Lerida, our prayers are answered. Mom, our friends are trapped in the cave in. And I know a way to get them out. Bug, please. True soul near will. You know what he'll do. Leave the true soul to me. Now tell me what you know. Young fuck, don't! I've... I've got no choice, Lerida. We have to chance it. A few days back, there was a... A scene. Our friend Philomene, she's a sapper, set off a blast and ran off. We set a spot for hiding if someone found trouble. I'll mark your map. If Philomene made it, you'll find her there. She'll have the stuff to blow that tunnel wide open and get Beldron and the rest out. I'll do what I can. Please, please don't hurt my Phil. I beg you. Hurry. Our people won't last in that cave in forever. I'll do what I can. <laughs> the eye is following me. You stare into the eye. Your reflection stares back. My own wave. The scrying mm. eye doesn't blink. Get rid of this thing for me. Never a dull moment. Never wanted Don't follow me. Being followed around by creepy eyeballs. We don't want that. There is an encounter over here Wait, that is a bit is a challenging. Moon. There must be a stockpile nearby. Left out in plain sight like that. No. The harpers are too smart for that. Anyone else got perceiving powers? That is not what it seems. I see you, shapeshifter. <laughs> Zero. Any Dark Souls players? We love mimic. At least I don't get surprised by uh, doing it this way. But yeah, this fight can be quite hard. Because they have an attack which makes you drop your well. weapon. And you know, we've got melee. Hopefully it goes well for us. They also don't take too much damage. I think it's the bite that makes you drop your weapon. I'm gonna get Scratch to act as a diversion over here. Good move. 
The game did not tell me that there was going to be an opportunity attack then. That's a bit rude again. <laughs> Gale will just have uh, no weapons for this fight. I don't know why the journal entry <laughs> updated it. Apparently we found some explosives. How about a little spirit card here? Can I like destroy? One HP. Here goes Shadow Hearts weeping. And we just leveled up. Nice. This level will be a good one for me because I get my level 5. I kind of want to move Harlek <laughs> into range so I can sneak attack. Nice work, Carly. Go, go grab your weapons if you don't mind. <laughs> A toy chest. This will be fun. A trap. Come on, open up. Hopefully, I will get some inspiration soon, so I can actually use rerolls. Cause, uh, you know. <laughs> we haven't had inspiration for a bit. Let's get our levels in. Some fun levels at least. Ranger level 5. Get some good shit. An extra attack. Some spell slots. And Misty Steep. I think I might pick up Long Strider. Just be a Long Strider buff bot. 3 meters of movement speed is pretty nice. Yeah, there's our extra attack. The next levels I'm going to be going are back into Rogue. Now that we've got our extra attack. Counterspell and Lightning Bolt are good. What's Karlak get? An extra Rage Charge and... Your Rage becomes all-consuming, repelling outside influences. While frenzied, you won't be charmed, frightened. Nice. Now for Shadow Heart, I was kind of considering staying cleric at level six because we get an extra divinity charge and stuff but i am gonna send her down the paladin route you'll gain lay on hands divine sense which is really good against fiends undead and celestials inquisitor's might which i don't really use a lot but it's nice to have an extra days going over vengeance go find that gnome that has the explosives it's gone from the map now because we we already have some explosives i will take a long rest soon not just yet but soon because doing one long rest before the battle to come will be useful don't like strangers here but absolute must have took you in who hung these drow out to dry me who else my spiders sussed them out of hiding, then near taught them a thing or two, and I let them fly. And where did the drow come from? Caught them sniffing around. Easy marks. Had the stench of the toplands. Hung them here as a warning. Ain't no one drugs with clan flame shade. I speak true, brothers. You know it in your hearts. You know it in your very souls. We need no lolf. No, Spider Queen. Father Murmuth is the head of Clan Lur. He hatched us, raised us, feeds us. What care we for his business here? He keeps us small, keeps us contained. We should be with the Spider Queen, revered, adored. See what we know about the Spider Queen. Oh. I was lucky. You've read that harming spiders is illegal among Lolth's faithful. 
and often punishable by death. Father Mermuth is our past. Lolf is our future. These spiders are loyal to the local Dwergar. In the event of a fight, they will join the fray against you with slavering enthusiasm. Mermuth? Is that the guy who keeps telling everyone about his useless, hideous spiders? Useless? Hideous? Xanta, is it so? You see? Father Mermot's time has passed. Come, brothers. Follow me into Lolt's hairy embrace. Her embrace? We're ready. We follow. <laughs> yes. Now, brothers, our new dawn awaits. And they're gone. <laughs> Sorry, Mermuth. Had to get rid of your spiders real, just real fast. Another uh, stick shit. <laughs> Piss pot. You flirt. Now jump to it. Or it's up to the lift, and straight to the shadows. Cruelty like that poisons the soul. Till one day, you drop dead, or the person you're fucking with snaps and puts a sword in your eye. Hmm. True soul, yeah? Tell the sergeant we won't move a pebble. A true soul is trapped in a cave -in. Shouldn't you be digging him out? Hold out your hands, Oon. You heard the man. Let's see him. Why do you want to see my hands? Let's ask in more showing. I'm not going to show you my hands. Scout all you want. You got five working fingers. Perfect for digging. You want there? You claw him out. My drinking hand's busy. I don't really like your attitude. And I don't like pig shit, but damned if your mouth ain't spewing it. You want respect? Let your absolute pay for it. Till then, bugger off. Hey! Stick shit! Where's my drink? Coming right up, piss pot. Stick shit talks like smug and he wrecked that shroom village. And then shagged it. <laughs> Here's to smug, nasty prick. What are these lads doing? Let's you're here to kick some stiffs lakeside. I suggest you bugger off. <laughs> From work, did you kill them? Nah, Rockfall smashed them. Can't have them stinking up the place. <clears throat> the half that weren't crushed are digging the true soul out of the wreckage. And you're chicken for loot first, right? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. These trash don't have nothing on them but rocks. Rocks. I'll have a look. If you don't mind. You spot a shiny trinket on one of the corpses. Let's take it. We're a rogue after all. It's easy for us. Quit mind sniffing if around. You're starting to get on my nerves. Nerves. This ring gives invisibility? Yeah. I'm just going to hand that to Karlak, you know, maybe she can become an invisible killing machine. <laughs> going. Eat and drink freely, for the lady doth come. Lady doth come. You know, it's funny, I was playing yesterday on my Dark Urge, and I was like, man, I never use poisons or anything. I just, like, something that's not even in my mind to use. But I probably should be using them, you know, more damage in everything. <laughs> probably be useful. Oh, the scraps of a nightfall feast. Damn right. To break bread in Shah's name, then spill blood in her name. The sacred rite. Seems a bit fucked up. That's win in Rome, I guess. Hmm. What's that? A door. So many secrets in the Grim Forge. I smell a trap. Got. Not much we can do about it though. Cool. 
covered in absolutely destroy them there's like two more fights or so before i can really feel like i'm gonna take that long rest trying to get through these without too much trouble my turn loaded jelly all over shadow heart i'm sure she enjoyed that easy <laughs> Stop it. Ready. Strike hard, strike fast. Hard, strike fast. Gale might be able to take that. Very good. Go, Carly. Can't do much damage right now to these. Oh, holy. But apparently they can do us. That was insane. Very resistant melee. Your time has come. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Got smacked for this. What a sight. Sight to behold. Let feast the eyes of the faithful. Know your goddess. Know her command. Hey. Hold it! I swear to Iron Hand. One more step and a blow is to chunks. An ashen scent fills the air. The barrel is filled with smoke powder, but the scent is acrid, as if contaminated somehow. Or much, much more concentrated. She's gonna blow up. That's my thing! <laughs> shut your mouth, Hoon! Or I'll shut you down! Philomene, I presume? What's going on here? Drug! Dropping my name like your culty stars knows me! Like we're friends! I know what you are. One of Nia's cult goons sailed right in. Better to die in this shit eat than rot in moonrise. You want me? Come get me. Loretta sent me. The gnomes need your help. Are you willing to help them? Loretta? Ruddy mind games. I, I know all about your tricks, true soul. Shit. I can't do it. Go on. Drag me to Moonrise. I'll make you cult nutters suffer. Calm down. Baldrin's trapped in a cave in and I need the smoke powder. You want to waste rune powder on... Look, you have no idea what you're dealing with. Any true Iron Hand would trade their life for a grain of this stuff. It's the whole damn reason we're here. And I'm not leaving without it. But let me go. Maybe I'll spare you a vial. Do a history check. Winnie. I don't know. Oh. Actually succeeding in a role that is high today? That's amazing. Rune powder is gnomish folklore. An explosive of awesome power handed down to the gnomes by their war god, Gerdel Ironhand. A formula so dangerous it was stricken from history. If it ever existed to begin with. Hmm. I thought Rune Powder was a children's story. Huh. We've heard the same ones, I bet. A fistful of fire that can turn cities to dust. Well, it's real. And I need to bring it back to Baldur's Gate. I'd rather my clan were with me, but the mission comes first. A vial's what I can spare you. Am I allowed to hear about the so-called mission before I let you go? Look, we're freedom fighters. We need this powder to prove a point to people who really need a point proven to them. Let me go, and you'll be on the right side of history. That's all I can say. You've got a deal. 
Why are you throwing it? <laughs> Very explosive. Please. <laughs> Listen. You see Larida at the dig? Tell her I'm dead. Impaled. Half eaten. I don't care. Make up a story. I'm not sure I blame her. Though Larida might. Playing dead. A classic ploy. Just make it work, alright? I'm getting the rune powder back to Baldur's Gate. Alone. Alright, good luck. And she's off. Yeah, we're gonna head back down and free near. But before that, I do want to take one long rest. We are allowed to take one long rest here. Just to get our stuff back. And maybe talk to Lazao as well, because we didn't do that last episode after we found this. Speak. It's a cipher. What do you know about this disc, Lazao? The disc appears in your mind's eye. Lazao sees it too and considers the vision. Tiersu markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. No. Wait. The texts are enciphered, but I've solved the pattern. It's a story. About. about Orpheus. Your head buzzes in concert with Lazelle's, but it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. I have read this one already. What do you make of it? Drivel, all of it. Gith declared Vlakith queen of the Empire, and her own son defied her. Orpheus would have ceded control to the Gith. And what if it's true? And Vlakith did betray Gith and seize the throne. She did nothing of the sort. Thank your good fortunes, I'm a tolerant woman. Or I'd have sliced off a few toes for suggesting it. We'll probably have Lazel with us in the party in a few episodes. A faint voice echoes in your mind. I sense you, true soul. Come to me, come to me. The poison spread. You hear him too, don't you? Nier is not long for this world unless we get him out of there. Nier's voice fades, but your head still tingles with his anger and fear. Yeah, we'll get him out of there. <laughs> no need to worry, Nier. We weren't able to do the quest for the, uh, the dwarfs to assist us, so I don't know what's going to happen there, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> going to prepare for the fight, though. I think the other three can just chill, you know? Yes, of course. Get back. Get back. One spark and it'll blow. Blast the date to bits! Great. You can you, like, not? Lost in thought. Ignis! Goldron, can you hear me? <laughs> Scratch was trying to get himself Finally. killed. Worthless slaves. Your incompetence has been my ruin. Nier does not fail. No more innocents will die today, Nia. You care for the weak true soul. Most curious. I came on the mic in its sovereign's behalf. It demands revenge. You heed an overgrown toadstool, yet defy a true soul. Thryn, carve out her heart and serve it to the Rothe. If she indeed is a true soul, let the absolute save her. I'll slit your throats before you can blink. I see your idiocy is surpassed only by your ego. Dwega, this true soul has betrayed us. Let her blood prove your devotion. It seems like all the Dwega are going to be against us this time. It'll be a hard fight then. But, sure we can deal with it. Can get advantage though. Yeah, I'd say this fight's probably going to be pretty hard. 
considering we were unable to get the dwarfs on our side. Nice. Good job, Screech. Now get down that ladder. Get ready to kill. Too bad Karlak and Shadowheart's like, turn is so... So far back. Explode a fireball, I think. I want to move Gale. Rather than not be like in the thick of it, you know. But I did just aggro another one <laughs> doing that. Nice. Be jumping. Oh, in my throat. Oh, actually, she isn't. <laughs> Alright, Carly. Time to show them what for. I might actually. Before I show them what for, though, I might put on Spirit Guardian. Just so I can make sure I'm not like attacking anyone that is Easy low. Up. Doesn't look like I will be anyway. 80% is still pretty good. Even though we missed. Get that guy in the Spirit Guardians also. On my Dark Urge playthrough, I killed Nier within one turn. It will definitely not be happening this time. But we can make use of the high ground. Here, yeah, Gale. Well, he was on their side, but he did break it. I think, honestly, we send another fireball. We can hit four. That, that takes one down. Little. Right, near waste is to use mage armor. That's good. Doesn't want to be near scratch. Take down Fud near his right here, so. Do they? What's it gonna take? Here for your heed. The first time I played through this game, I actually didn't get the quest to kill Nia because I went here before going back to the colony. So <laughs> I had to come back and collect this heed. Need to stay focused. It was kind of funny. All right, we run over there. That guy will die. Heading there. Spirit Guardians are still amazing. Feel thing. Can we get a ensnare on there? Outside of range, but it's still 81%. Nice. Now we can blast them. We're actually getting quite lucky with the RNG. Like, this fight can be hard, but we've been lucky, so I'll take it. Heretic. Should never have All right, you can heal. That's fine. Still going to kill you. Very good. Got it. Alright, Shadowheart, you walk over there. No mercy. Nice. 
so close like a pixel from the hitbox a little sneaky there's an illithid parasite in that corpse you should take a look take a look if i want Beldron! i was so worried didn't it hurt you no no i'm all right did the sergeant hurt you oh who cares we're together now thank iron hand who cares? <laughs> <laughs> we ought to thank someone a little closer by, I think. Gaudel Ironhand, you may not be, but you damn well fight like him. I'm grateful, don't mistake me, but why help us? You're one of them, aren't you? Thank Fula. He's the one who set me on your trail. Glittering gods! I should have known that one was too damn stubborn to die. Here, the Iron Hand gnomes honor their debts. With Walburn gone, that falls to me. Make it quick. We need to find Walburn. Now! You're a little late, Barkus, my lad. He's already been sent to Moonrise Towers. We were just slave hands to the cult, but not Walburn. He knows things. Things they want to know, too. Hmm. What has he gotten himself mixed up in now? Would this have anything to do with rune powder? How did you... Well, you're a sharp one. Most still believe it's a fairy tale. I know I did, once. But not Walbron. He bloody found it. A small cache buried down here with a manuscript. He just made sense of the formula when the cult jumped us, so he burned the damn thing. Hmm. If there's a single copy left, it's sitting in his head. Those absolutists pull it out and make rune powder, they could flatten the whole of the Sword Coast. Yeah, that would be a bad thing. So if it's truly that powerful, we can't let the cult have it. <laughs> I wouldn't trust them with a bloody butter knife. But... It's a fight for another day. My people can barely stand, and we have business back in the city. <sighs> that business is what sent us after the powder to begin with. Now, we'll have to make other arrangements. And just like that, you'd leave Walbrin behind? I knew you lot were foolish, but I didn't know you were cruel. If you knew half as much as you think, my lad, Wolburn might have kept you around. So you're just going to abandon your leader? That's a bit cold. It is. And if the pick swung the other way, I'd expect Wolburn to do the same. Same, actually. My people will find somewhere to regroup across the lake. Then, on to the city. If you find yourself in Baldur's Gate, seek us out. We'll raise a glass to Wolburn together. Well, you did it. I shouldn't be surprised, considering our history. And yet... You're free. Go on. Free. Y yes. As you know, some of the Iron Hand gnomes, my friend Walbrin among them, have been taken prisoner in Moonrise Towers. They're not even going after him. I wish I were surprised. And so, to Moonrise Towers I go. I believe I'm destined for the towers as well. I'll look for your friends. Friend. Singular. I'm looking for Wolbrin. If anyone else should be incidentally helped, then bully for them. Since in a bit of history here? It isn't personal. No one likes the Iron Hand gnomes except the Iron Hand gnomes. Well, you do make it difficult. Why don't you rest in my camp before your next move? Certainly not. In case you haven't been paying attention, my friend has been taken captive. He needs me. Well, I suspect I'll be rescuing you a third time then. I was unlucky twice. The odds of it happening again are very slim. Then again, a small rest might be prudent. Uh, give me time to think. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Show me where to go and I'll try my luck. I'll have a better chance of rescuing Walbrin if I'm at my best. And, um, thank you. No problem. At least... 
At least some of us are safe. Praise Iron Hand. If only there were more blessings to count. I found Philomene. He wants you to move on. Move on? I gave her everything! And she has the gall to send you to break me! Just get away from me! The decaying corpse lies before you. I shall remove his head. No, I don't want to use that. <laughs> Really? I don't know how to remove his head. <laughs> I've never seen this. I sincerely hope you never find employment as an executioner. You finish resting the head from the drow's twisted neck. Oh, that was funny. I mean, we still got it off. <laughs> now we get these night walkers, which are amazing. We got Misty Steep on them, so we'll give that to Gale. Thousand gold as well. Mm -hmm. Jack catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. <sighs> Broken as an old heart. Nothing but dust inside. Yes, what kind of dust, though? This is pixie dust, used to illuminate a lamp, or left behind after a pixie's death. I got so bloody just from removing Nia's head. Had to really get in there, you know? <laughs> You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. Okay. There is some alright loot from these fellas at least. Plus it was a good battle. I like good battles. Well, that's it then. I can't jump any further. Yep. Here we get our first look at the temple. If you're like me, you did try to jump off there the first time you played get down there because you know why wouldn't you and then the game was like game over <laughs> especially after the arcane tower you know because i jump off that so it's like i've got it in my mind beaverful and jump down all right there is a lot more to explore here but we're actually going to do that in the next episode for the rest of this episode i am gonna long rest and then head back to the myconid colony i thank you for the invitation to your camp it's, um, well appointed, not too crowded, perfect for thinking, and I've been doing just that. What are you thinking about? It's about Wolbrin. We know he's been taken to Moonrise Towers, and we know I'm going to save him. The problem is this, a preponderance of evidence that I am a terrible adventurer. I'm not sure I should trust Wolbrin's fate to, well, me. Well, uh, I could look for him. I am going to Moonrise Towers. Hmm. You've done so much already. I'm hesitant to prevail upon you again. But I can't risk recapture. I barely escaped last time. You'd do it then. You'd look for him. I did say I would do that. I'll let you know if I hear anything. No more, no less. That's <clears throat> very decent of you. Thank you. There's something else you should know. Something I can no longer ignore. I know Put you've learned out. about the gnome's pursuit of rune powder, but do you know what it truly is? Other than a valuable explosive, perhaps not. Until very recently, I thought rune powder was a myth. A substance so powerful it could fell a city. A nation. The Iron Hand Gnomes have proven the impossible. Rune powder is real, and they have it in their possession. Hmm. And what do they want to do with it? Destruction. The only thing it's good for. But destruction of what? Well, I'm hoping Wilbrin will be able to tell us. I shouldn't have let him drift away. Shouldn't have let that lot get their claws into him. Now more than ever, I need to find him. We need to find him. He's the only one I might be able to speak to sensibly. 
Do you know anything about Moonrise Towers? I haven't been there myself. The area around it is, well, cursed. Hmm. Terrifyingly so. I Helsen did hear something interesting, though. There are shades that plague the path to the towers. Shades that fear not steel, but light. Dwergar, who mentioned it, sounded truly traumatized. It was almost amusing. Hmm. Well, we'll stop the Iron Hand gnomes, all right? I'd kiss you, but neither of us deserve that. Thank you. Hopefully they don't mind that the head is, you know, but destroyed from our critical failure of a roll. No need for me to ask how you fared. Some of my kin have already made it here, safe and sound. It's past time we were back in the city. But if you find yourself there, call on us. The Iron Hand Gnomes are good friends to have. Will do. What will you do when you return? Like I say, we Iron Hands make good friends. But bad enemies too. Some folk are about to be reminded of that. Thanks again for offing that drow. Only made it here because of you. But I can't stop thinking about the rest of us. Stuck in Moonrise with a bunch of sadists. Poor bastards. Yeah, we'll get them out. Peace, Springer. Be at home. I've brought you Nia's head. I don't know if we talked about Blut with him. The drow sought to shatter our circle. Now his flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, you have brought this circle life, and thus we name you Life Chanter. You make death and you become Life Chanter. Interesting. <laughs> They're gonna have a party now. As our circle grows, so shall your song. Wherever you go, only listen, and you may hear it. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, boss. This amulet isn't that great. I find it interesting. You can steal Nia's head, and it's like stealing, but then when he plants the stuff in it, you can take it without stealing. I'm not going to take it, but I did on my Dark Urge playthrough. I've got a collection. <laughs> but yeah, that's that quest done. And the end of today's episode. Our first trip to Grimforge was pretty successful. Next time we will be back in the Grimforge, there's a lot more to do. We've got a big boss battle upcoming, so we'll probably get through that next episode. So it should be good. I enjoy the boss battle that's coming. It was probably my favourite one in my first playthrough. And probably the hardest one also. <laughs> should be a lot easier now that I know how to deal with it and everything, but we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great night or day, depending on when you're watching.